Welcome. Uh, in this case, what I have is ax squared plus b equals c. And what I want to do is solve for a. So again, what we want to do is when we're taking solve for a, we want to isolate the variable, get the variable by itself. So to do that, we need to look at, well, what is happening to my variable a? Well, you can see a is being multiplied by x and it's being added by b. So I need to undo those, but we got to make sure we undo them in a certain, um, certain order, which we call the reverse order of operations, uh, which is like the order of operations, but the reverse method. Meaning, I'm going to undo addition and subtraction first. So you can see that since my variable a is being added by b, I need to undo that by subtracting b. And I'll use my subtraction property of equality. That's going to now subtract to 0. And then these, c minus b, are not like terms. So I'm going to have to write ax is equal to c minus b. Now I need to solve for a. So I need to look at it and say, all right, my a is being multiplied by my x. So the inverse operation of multiplying is dividing by x. So therefore, I have a equals c minus b divided by x. Now, sometimes you could say, all right, that's correct. But we could also divide this x into both of these terms. And I'm going to rewrite this in a different form. I could say a equals c over x minus b over x. All right. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just dividing those through. And you guys can look at this. If I show this another way, what if I did 1 plus 3 over 5? Well, ladies and gentlemen, 1 plus 3 over 5, that's equal to 4 over 5, right? So you could also say 1 fifth plus 3 fifths equals 4 fifths. It's the exact same thing. I just separated, divided that 5 into both of those terms. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve for a variable, a variable on a literal equation. Thanks.